here this evening. Amen. Such a wonderful presence of the Lord. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to open up in prayer. We also want to welcome those who is watching this broadcast and those who is here this evening. We thank you for being with us this evening. And we pray that this service will be a blessing to each of us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We thank you for who you are. God Almighty, God of heaven and earth. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Father, for your presence, for your anointing in this place. We thank you, Lord God, that you are mighty God. You are worthy to be praised. We call upon your name, and Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you hear us. And we thank you, Lord God, that you attach every person who is here this evening and those who is watching this broadcast. We thank you, Lord God, that you touch your people tonight in the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray, Lord God, for this service tonight. We ask you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you are moved by your spirit for the work of the Holy Spirit in this place. And Father, we thank you. We thank you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, into this place. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we ask you, Lord God, that you attach Pastor Larry and use him tonight as your instrument, as your vessel on behalf of each of us. So we speak blessings over this service tonight. In Jesus' name, amen? Amen. 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 Well, you may have a seat in the presence of the Lord. Amen. God is good. He is a good God. And we... You always hear probably from us about this because God is good. It's a, so awesome to be a part of the kingdom of God. Just think about where you will be today if God did not bring you from the darkness to Him. I don't know where I will be, but I am just, yes. I'm just thankful. This is why no matter what the situation is, no matter what you're going through, I mean, we always should be thankful. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you that we are wake up this morning. Thank you, Lord, that we still living and breathing. And thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for every victory, every thing that you have done for our lives. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Well, um, get ready tonight for the word. We're going to just uh, believe that uh, God will speak to us through Pastor Larry. Um, we have a uh, Sunday night service. This was a powerful service about the uh, healing, all the wonderful scriptures. Those who missed that service on Sunday night, and maybe those who is watching this broadcast, you miss it and you was not able to be here with us, just go back and watch. This service is really, really powerful, really, really good service in Jesus' name. Well, we know that this house, um, this church is the house of prayer. Even when we walk in, my daughter and I, we see people as praying and seeking the face of God. So this is what it's about. When we go to church, we're not coming to, you know, entertain our emotions. We come to be filled with His Spirit, seeking His face, seeking His guidance, seeking His direction, also to pray for others. Amen? Because if we don't pray for your loved ones or people who you care about, sometimes God can show you someone just like, kind of like a flush. And, and, and he was like, it's, it's for me and for you to pray for that person. Just recently, I was just in prayer and I was, came to me one of the ladies that I was working some years ago, maybe like eight years ago. 
and I and I just start to pray in the spirit. Sometimes you don't know what to pray. That you, sometimes God can show you what you need to pray for. So I start to pray for this lady in a in a spirit. Then I went to the some. I had a, some appointment, very important appointment, and I step into this office, and I supposed to bring some two IDs with me and I just have a one and and um, anyway it's a long story and suddenly I see this lady that I was just telling you about she was working in that particular office she called me she said Olga and I said hi call her name and we have this interaction and I was just saying, I was just thinking about you another day. And so anyway, obviously because she was working there, she let me do what I need to do without some other verifications and stuff. So be in the right place in the right time. And when God bring you someone, because see, God already know the future. He know where you're gonna be in five days from today, tomorrow and anytime, right? So just to be led by the Spirit of God. Supernatural inter interruptions. Sometimes you can step in, in in the right place with the right people, doors supernaturally open for you, favor of God. You know, God can use, yeah. Yeah, I mean, God is just so awesome. So anyway, I'm gonna continue to lift you guys up tonight because I believe that those who is the children of God, because this is what the scripture says, that we will be led by the Spirit of God. So this is why, as the people of God, we have to always pray every day. You sit in a car, say, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Father, for this vehicle. I thank you, Father, for your angels, for your protection. Don't just jump in a car and, you know, to be, to be, wherever. You, you put the blood of Jesus over your truck, over your car, over your motorcycle, wherever you're driving. You put the blood of Jesus for your hitch and your protection. Amen? Yes, Amen. Amen. So you constantly, you know, pastor is talking about how we um, spend time in prayer and intercede for the, you know, those who is in authority for governments and, you know, for all of this, um, for Israel and Jerusalem and those who is an authority but also we don't stop praying because the scripture says pray without the ceasing we constantly pray you constantly communicate with the lord and your job and your finances whatever you're doing in your life you consult him you acknowledge him in all of your ways and he will direct your path Sometimes you want to go do this, then you consult him. And you will see how the Lord will guide you sometimes in opposite direction that you think is going to, you have to go. So because let him direct our ways in Jesus' name. So I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for your family before Pastor Larry come. Amen. That the Lord will continue to guide us continually to direct us in Jesus name so Heavenly Father we thank you so much we thank you Lord God for your guidance and your direction in the lives of your people and Father we thank you Lord God that yes we are your sheep and we hear your voice and Father we thank you Lord God that you will guide your people and you will direct us in each in, in each area in our lives and Father, we take authority in the name of Jesus Christ. And we bind every spirit of confusion in the name of Jesus. We bind, we loose it, we break it off in Jesus' name. For the word of the living God and the blood of Jesus. For the authority of God's word. Father, you said in your word, submit to God, resist the devil, and he has to flee. So we... We command that spirit of confusion flee from God's people in Jesus' name. Father, that they will know what to do in every area in their lives in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you for it. We thank you, Father, for the favor. 
favor with you, favor with men. That people go out of their ways to bless them, Father, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we pray for the family members, for the children, for the loved ones. Father, we thank you, Lord God. Supernatural intervention in your people's lives. Supernatural doors and opportunities, business opportunities will be open for your people in the name of Jesus. We call them in right now. The doors of opportunities from heaven right now in the name of Jesus. Divine connections, divine interventions in Jesus' name. And so, Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So we're going to believe that. We're going to believe for the divine opportunities. Supernatural opportunities. Supernatural interventions. So the same way I was talking to one of the sisters. She is attending to this ministry also. She was need a prayer for some uh, promotion and different things. But then she was praying also, and in her prayer, she said, you know what, the Lord gave me the peace, and he said that I, I should stay where I'm at right now. See, for everything is time and season. So sometimes we think we might want to do this, but God, he said, you know what, you need to wait on that. Because maybe where you at, your promotion might come right down where you at. And you look in a grass somewhere else. Because, you know, grass sometimes on greener and, and another side, right? But, so we need to hear the voice of the Lord. Amen? Amen. So, you are his sheep. Just keep, listen, keep consulting. Keep consulting. It's a very important in these last days that we live. We must hear the voice of the Lord. Years ago, and I want to just share with you because some, some of you may be, you know, you know, the, we overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. So when we share certain things, you know, it's for some, per, some people it can build up the faith. So, and I remember some years ago, I was looking for the new housing. I was single, you know, woman go to school and working. And, and no matter what, I was knocking on everywhere, kind of like door closed, so I don't feel right about it. But I always like to help people. So one day I was going to some appointment, taking this lady for the appointment. And helping her I was helping myself because intervention just met that person supernatural and one day found not just the housing found some position that I was a student and I was able to work and I mean it just supernatural intervention and everything what I need to have is was met right there in the right time in the right place so if you need some breakthroughs in your life, whatever your breakthrough, whatever you are seeking, whatever you need, just stretch your faith. Just like, God, I'm expecting. I'm expecting that you will lead my steps. I'm just, I'm just believe that you will do that, Lord. Just have that faith. Because he wants to bless you. And he wants, he said, all of your needs will be met. See? Your needs will be met. So just have faith what you need that he will meet that need. In Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. 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 Well, Pastor Larry is here. He's going to minister to us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to a new life in Christ Jesus Church where Jesus Christ is glorified. Amen. Amen. I believe that. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you right now for what you're going to do tonight. Yes. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. 
We ask you to be one in our midst tonight, to lead us and to guide us in all truth and assure us things to come. Father, we humble ourselves before your mighty hand, that you may exalt us in due time. We cast all of our care upon you, for you cared for us. Father, we are your people, the sheep of your pastors. We come to hear from you tonight. And we expect, Father, by the Spirit of the living God, that you will speak to our hearts. You will cause our understanding to be enlightened, that we will know what is the hope of your calling. And we receive it as done now in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I anoint every ear to hear, prepare every heart to receive. Make my tongue as of a pen of a red writer to write your word upon the hearts, upon the mind of your people, that they will know the truth and that the truth shall make them free. And we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in the glorious and mighty majestic name of Jesus. And all that read that say it, amen and amen. Well, good evening again. Good evening. Good evening. It's so good to be here, yes, to see all y'all smiling faces. <laughs> amen. We're talking about intercessory prayer on Tuesday nights. Mm. Amen. We're talking about intercessory prayer on Tuesday nights, and that's what we're going to be talking about tonight as well. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because this is where I believe that God, this is where I believe that God placed upon my heart, amen, to 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 uh, to go in this direction. And I believe in going doing so that we will see that God will not only uh, help us to to get our prayer met, but He will as we pray for others, then that's going to help us. That's what's going to help us get our prayer met. Not being selfish, not just praying for your foe and no more. Right. Amen. Right. So uh, as we pray for the body of Christ, as we pray for the, the those that are in authority, you just you you making way for God because you're stepping into the way that God has commanded us to pray. We're gonna be talking about that again tonight because there's some key things in that in that area that we need to see, and know, and understand. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because God wants this gospel to go around the world. Amen. God wants this gospel to go around the world. And, and if we don't uh, uh, do our part, then we won't have the peace. We won't have the peace of God with us so that the word will continue to go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. we, will, we will run up against all type of obstacles, all type of hindrances because of our lack of praying for those that are in authority. Amen. So this is why God has wanted us to pray for those that are in authority so that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life. In other words, so that the gospel will not be hindered. Because you see, even though they may be ungodly people, but if you're not praying for those that are in authority, those ungodly people make it hard for you. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm saying? They make it hard for you. Why? Because that's, that they work for Satan. They doing what they're supposed to do. Amen. And you, as a child of God, your job is to pray for those that are in authority. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to show you in the word of God. Because you see, when we see it in the word, then we then we can understand God is talking to us. Right. Amen. So let's turn, let's turn our Bible. Let's turn our Bible here to uh 1 Timothy, if I'm not mistaken. 1 Timothy chapter 2. I think this is what we, we we was in this the whole the whole service on last Tuesday, amen. And so we're gonna go back there again tonight because there's some things that we really need to uh, key in on, and we need to understand what God is saying to us, amen. What God is saying to us, and so where my first Timothy at? Oh, there you are, glory to God. Now this is this is it's only four verses in this. No, it's more than four verses. There's about, what, how many verses in this? Fifteen verses in this particular section of Scripture. But we're dealing with the first five verses, the first five to eight verses. That's what mainly we're dealing with today in this particular area. Because I believe that God is calling the church to pray for our nation. Amen? To pray for our leaders. I, I sense that so strong in my heart. And I'm not trying to... Pray for someone just because uh, because someone that's in the office. I got to pray for the office regardless who's in the office. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because we've been commanded by God to do so. Whether I like him or whether I hate him, it has it's irrelevant. That has nothing to do with it. Right. Amen. Amen. But I know if the church don't pray for them that are in authority, 
You won't lead a quiet and peaceful life. We've experienced that. Why should we? Why do we want to go through that again? Amen. Why do we want to experience that again? So we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it God's way. We're gonna do it God's way. And and I believe that we're gonna find ourselves a whole lot better off doing it God's way. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so and I found a little book that I that I from my from my mentor from back in the nineties from Kenneth E. Higgins on intercessory. Intercessory, interceding Christians. And I, I kind of like this. Amen. Kind of give me some, some insight on what we're dealing with here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And so now, let's look at verse number one. Again, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse number one. Because this is what this is this is what God is this is what God is looking at us. This is the way God this is what God is expecting out of us as children, as his children. Amen. He said, I exalt therefore that first of all, notice he said first of all. In other words, this is what you should consider first when you're praying. This is what you consider first when you're praying. First of all, that prayer and supplication, prayer and in, prayer and intercessions. Prayer, excuse me. <laughs> you know what? I believe we're in the right place. <laughs> Amen. When when I when I when that's going to happen like that, I see that the enemy is trying to interfere. And so let me know that let me know that I'm in the right place. Amen. So now let's look at this verse one more time. I exalt therefore that first of all, supplications, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks may be. Uh, be made for all men. Amen. Be made for all men. Amen. So notice that God is concerned for all men. Yeah. Amen. God is not willing that any should perish. So he's concerned for all men. Now notice what he said verse number two. For kings and for all that are in authority. That we may lead a quiet and peaceful life. Well, if we don't pray for them that's in authority. If we don't keep them lifted up in prayer. And if we don't pray ourselves. You see... If we only pray for our family and not pray for those that's in authority, we are making a grave mistake. Because your family, you got them with you, you can you can, you can bring them to correction. But the people that's in the high high offices, you can't bring them in correction. But God can. Because God is the one that established authorities. God is the one that set people in office. Amen. He allow it. He don't do it, but he allow it. Amen. And so if the church don't pray for these people that are in office, ain't no telling what these people will do. Say that. Say Amen. That. Look at these, look at uh uh we had a president that put man on the moon. What was that in the 60s? Mm -hmm. Who was that, Kennedy? Yeah. We had a, he came in and put man up on the moon. We had a president two years ago, uh, for eight, six years ago, came and put man in a dress. So how, you can't tell what God is going to do. That's why we got to pray. If we don't pray, you going to be held accountable. All these ungodly laws that was established, why? Because people wasn't praying. And if they was praying, they, was, they, they, were, they, wasn't, they wasn't praying according to the word of God. They wasn't praying according to the word of God. God wants us to keep his word in his ears. Amen? Why? Because if we're going to lead a quiet and peaceful life, we've got to be willing to do what God is asking us to do. Amen? So notice what he says right here. Verse number, verse number uh, one again. I exalt therefore that first of all, supplication, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks be made. Be made for all men. Amen? For all men. See, now, now notice, I like that because you, that showed me that, that showed me that what God is expecting out of me as a child of God. There are there are some people who are who if they if they did if they did pray, they'll be praying for their family, they'll be praying for their children, they'll be praying for their, their household, and they won't consider praying for no one else. And that's selfish. That is very selfish because you see, there's more than you. In this land, you you don't even just, just think about you you praying for your family. And do you consider 
where your finances come from? Do you consider where your strength come from? Do you consider where uh, who, who's, uh, who's, who's in authority in your community? Do you consider those in authority over your nation, over your church? You see, these are things we should take to heart before we even start on our family. God wants us to begin to focus our prayers on those that are in authority, those that are our government, those of the legislators. You see, you see all, the, all the hell that's going on over there right now? Amen? And I'm not talking, I'm not asking y'all, I'm not getting y'all, I'm not getting on this circuit because of all that stuff going on. God gave me all this before all that started. Amen. Before that, and this is just, this is just give us something to focus on. Amen. Give us give us something. Give us a a, a place to to see where prayer is needed. Amen. <clears throat> so now, God is dealing with my heart about our nation. God wants our nation to be covered in prayer. So God is calling for the intercessors to come forth. God is calling for the intercessors to come forth. Amen. And when, we, and when we take our position, we're going to see that God is going to use you not only to pray for your community, not only to pray for your family and your community, but you're going to find out that God wants to use you to pray for a people you've never even seen. When God started dealing my heart about intercessory prayer, it was when I was in Bible school. I used to be a friend with a, a, a group of missionary doctors that was at uh, 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 Oral Roberts University. Amen. And th and they was a they was attending church over at Victory, uh, over at Victory uh, in uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. What was that pastor over that name? He he died not too long ago. Doughty, yeah, Billy Joe Doughty, yeah, and uh, so those those doctors they went to school at Raymond, but they and they and they went to school at uh, Oral Roberts. Then they started going to church at Billy Joe Doughty, and I became friends with them, and I and we started interceding because they getting ready to go out on the mission field. They missionary doctors, they getting ready to go out on the mission field. Amen. I remember Doctor Neuenschreiner. <laughs> Him and his wife, Bess, uh, Bess, Betty, and Dr. Neuenschreiner. Amen. I remember them. They was good people. I, I like them. Amen. I can, you know, and and and, uh, and I can't I can't really remember the other people's name, but anyway, those are the two. Those were the two main leaders, and they would ask us to pray. Now, this was back when God was dealing my heart about uh, uh, going to other nations. Amen. And I was uh, and I and they said we're gonna we're gonna be praying for for India right now. And they said, uh, uh, Brother Larry, we want you to pray for the capital of India, uh, New Delhi. And I said, what? New Delhi? <laughs> and I said, and, and now, now God has already been dealing my heart about New Delhi. Okay. God has already been dealing my heart about New Delhi. And I'm thinking, New Delhi? I said, God's been talking to me about New Delhi. And I thought he was going to give me a, a new business because I, was, I used to be a chef. Right. And I thought God was going to give me a new business, and I was going to name it New Delhi Salad Buffet Bar. That's, I had already picked out the name of everything. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Yeah. Amen. And here I am. We, we get ready to intercede for New Delhi, and I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, as I New Delhi, that all of a sudden it just, it just dawned on me what God was trying to tell me, that I'm to pray for that nation. Amen. To intercede for that nation. And so we begin to intercede for that nation, and, and, and that's what I told them. I told everybody what God had showed me about that nation because I I had seen visions of that nation, I had seen dreams about that nation, and, and all that stuff. And I, I began to tell them about this place, and they said, "God gonna send you there one day." And and when I when, when I finished when I finished school, when I went back home, about six months after I got home, God told me to go to New Delhi. Amen, amen. The place that I've been interceding for, the place I've been praying for, God told me to go. Amen. See, you never know why you pray. You never know why you interceded. You just know that God has placed a nation on your heart, and God wants you to pray for that nation because God might want to bring revival in that nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
And God, I believe that God want to bring revival in America right now. Yes, ma'am. I believe that God want to bring revival in America right now. That's why God is want the intercessors to come forth and begin to focus on our nation. Hallelujah. Amen. To focus on our nation. And this is why he said he wants us to understand how to pray because when we pray his way, then we're going to get the results. That's why he said, first of all, intercession and prayer must be made for who? Verse number two? Kings. And those that are in authority. Amen? So he's not, he, we, this is what God is saying to us. It's time for, we got, we got, he wants us to pray we, as we should, but he wants us to not, he wants to put others first. He wants to put those that are in authority first. Then he wants to put the, the, the government in, in, in next. Then he wants to put uh, our leadership in our, in our cities, in our, in our towns, amen. He wants to put our, all the leaders first. And then as you pray for all them, now it's time for you to pray for your family. But if you pray for your family first, you're out of order according to the word of God. According to the word of God, amen, we don't, we don't want to be out of order. We want to be right in line with God's will. Notice what he said. I exalt, therefore, that first of all, see, he tells us which way to go first. First of all, intercession, prayer, with the prayer, the supplication, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Amen. Verse number two said, for kings and for all that are in authority. Amen. For all that are in authority. That we may lead a quiet and peaceful life. If we don't pray for those that are in authority, there's no way we're going to lead a quiet and peaceful life. <coughs> there's no way. Because they're going to do everything they can to, accept, to, to, to snuff out your little light. If you're not praying for them, then they're going to be doing everything they can to stop you from, from having anything to do with God. Y'all understand what I'm saying, right? Amen. Because you see, if, we don't, if, if we're praying for them, then God can intervene. God can, 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 can intervene on our behalf. God can go into, that, into their situation and cause them to yield to do his will. Amen. You know, before you got saved, you weren't always saved, you know. And, and, and someone was praying for you. And it caused you to do right. It caused you to do right. That's why you're here today. Because someone was praying for you. Not because you were so good. I can look at you and tell you wasn't all that good. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Amen. But but somebody was praying for you, and that's why and that's why you're here today. Glory. Amen. Otherwise, you've been caught out there in your trespass, in your sin, and you you and you and, it, and it's probably a very possible chance you probably won't even be alive. Because someone was praying for you, you're still here. Amen. Not only are you still here, but you're in the house of God. Amen. Now that's powerful. Amen. So we see that prayer is very important. If a person were, were already in office, we, don't, we, we, we can't, you know, we don't know what they, we don't know uh, what the cause of all this stuff is. <coughs> But we know that if we don't pray properly, if we don't pray properly, amen, that offer can be corrupted. Yes, can. Can. And they can break and they can make it miserable for Christians. Yes, can. Y'all already seen it happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we don't want that, that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want another go around with that. We want we want to pray for those that are in authority. Amen. Mm -hmm. We want to pray for those that are in authority. Amen. The Lord has the Lord the Lord uh, has imposed upon my heart that we should pray, especially for our nation. For our nation. Look here, folks. We are one nation under God. Individual. In the what? Individual. Individual. With liberty. Now you don't want that liberty taken away from you. But if you don't pray, if you don't seek the face of God, then liberty will be taken away from you and there will be no justice for all. 
That's outside. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now, 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 notice this. Notice this. Notice this. God. He says in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse number 30. He said, and I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me. Now, notice what he said now. For the land. For the land. That I would not destroy it. And then he goes on to say, but I found none. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 30. He said, but I found none. I don't want that to be the case when he look upon this little church right here. I want him to find that this church is praying and standing in the gap for the nation. I can't speak for everyone. I can't speak for all those, all those other churches. Amen. And I can't speak for all the people that say they're intercessors. I can't even speak for you. Because I don't know what you do in your private in your private prayer life. I don't know how you pray. But that's why we're teaching. That's why we're talking about this. Because we want to get all of us on one accord. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. We want to get all of us on one accord. So we're going to, we're going to, because see, on Thursdays and Fridays, and that's coming up when? That's just a day away. Tomorrow's Wednesday. <coughs> and next day is Thursday. What we're going to do on Thursday? We're going to intercede. We're going to intercede for Jerusalem, the nation of Jerusalem, at 9 a.m. We're going to pray for the leaders of Jerusalem, Israel. Amen. We're going to pray for the capital, which is Jerusalem. We're going to pray for the salvation of all Israel. All the Jews, we're going to pray for their salvation. We're going to pray that God will visit them. Amen. That's going to give you ten minutes. Of, that's enough. To, that'll get enough to keep you praying for ten minutes if you if you if you do it. Amen. And then if you finish that ten minutes, you look at your watch. You said ten minutes up. Don't stop if you still got if you ain't got nothing else to do. Keep praying. God, this ten minute intervals. This is just something to get you back in the in the concept of praying. Most people don't pray five minutes. A lot of people don't. They say, Lord, thank you for watching over my children, and thank you for waking me up this morning, and God, I say, thank you. Glory to God. Now I'm ready to start my day. This was most, this is the, this is the, the average person prayer. Amen. This is the average person prayer. But now, if you really do it the right way, because see, sometimes I find myself doing the same thing. I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I have to catch myself. Amen. Now my wife, she she gets on me if I don't pray. Like that's right, like I supposed to. She 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 keep me straight in that area. Trust me, I know. She is a prayer warrior. She's a real prayer warrior. I find her praying for you guys when I and I, and I, and I walk up on her, she's not praying for you guys. I said, I said, what are you doing? Oh, I'm praying for I'm praying for our, I'm praying for our people at the church, and I'm praying for I'm praying for their finances, and I'm praying for their their well-being. I'm praying that God will bless them. Amen. I'm telling you, you guys are covered in prayer all the time. Thank you, Thank All the time. All of you. I pray for you all the time. Amen. Amen. And so we, so when we, when we, when we pray, we want to pray. Cause see, when my wife prayed before she started praying for our family, she always prayed for the church. She prayed for those that's in authority. Then she prayed for. Uh, Whatever else the Lord plays on her heart, then she pray for us. You know why? Because that's scripture. That is biblical. That's how we get results. Amen. That's how we get results. Praying the way God designed for us to pray. Amen. So now, as I was saying, God is looking for someone. That he can count on in these last days. 
He looked with someone he can count on these last days. He said, and I sought for a man among Ezekiel chapter 30, chapter 22, verse 30. He said, and I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I would not destroy. But I found none. He said, but I found none. Amen. Mm -hmm. So the, the, Lord is, the, Lord, the Lord is looking for people that will begin to pray for the nation, begin to pray for the land. Amen. For things can't, if they want, if they want things to, 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 to change, if they want to change some things, then it, they're going to be changed through prayer. They're not going to be changing because someone is getting mad at someone because they're in office. They won't get changing because someone uh, uh, upset because they're not doing what they want them to do. Amen. They're not going to make. They're not going to get anything changed. But when you started praying, <coughs> prayer changes, changes things, things. and it also changes people. Yes, it does. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so now. When I when I look at this, I think I think God does God doesn't tell us to do something just to put uh to put extra uh, words in our mouth to call upon Him. When God asks us to do something, He do it for a purpose. He asks us to pray for a purpose. Amen. Because you see, like like I was saying, like Paul Paul said Paul said to pray for those who are in authority. That's what he said in, right in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. Paul said, pray for those that are in authority so that we so, so that we who are Christians may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. Verse number 2. Amen. God is concerned about us and all and, 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 and will move on our behalf if we are praying properly. But if we are not praying properly, he... We, we, we're the one because of it. If he don't move on our behalf, it's not because he doesn't want to. It's because we're not uh, uh, standing, we're not doing what he asks us to do. Notice, notice the, the, the ultimate purpose of our praying. Of our praying for our, for our nation. It's for, it's, for, it's for this. For this is God's acceptable. This is acceptable to God. When we pray for our nation, this is acceptable to God. Amen. Isn't that what he said? Yes. Yeah. And then what he said right there, verse number three? Yes. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. Amen. Who will have what? All men. All men to be saved. In other words, if we don't Pray for those that's in authority, they will hinder, they could be a hindrance for the gospel going forward. Remember, not too long ago, right here in the state of California, there was a law being passed trying to stop people from reading the Bible. And if they had a, if that law had been passed, it'd have been a it'd have been against the law for us to assemble like here, right here today. This was just a few months ago, folks. Yeah. A few months ago. Because people is not praying for those that are in authority. Thank God it didn't pass. Because yeah. I've been having to break the law then. Because okay. I can't stop preaching. And in Texas not too long ago, they, I don't know, was it Texas somewhere? That they, I think it was Texas. They want them to bring all their preaching notes to be approved of the government before they can preach them. You see what I'm talking about? And so if we don't pray for those that's in authority, they can make it hard for us. And this is what God is showing me. If we, the church, don't start praying for the our nation start praying for those that's in authority. I don't care who's in authority, but they need to be. They need to be covered in prayer. Yes. Godly and ungodly alike need to be covered in prayer, because God can take a if He can take a mule and make him to do right. Just think what He can do for you. <laughs> Glory to God. Just think though. You know, y'all understand what I'm saying though, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Because see. There's so many, there's so many 
uh, eye openers. And then when God brings this back to my attention, time God told me to start praying, all this stuff started going down in the, in the Senate and all this stuff. Time God told me to start calling the intercessors back together. Shut a week, a, a week or two after God told me to call the intercessors back together, all this stuff started break, start, start coming. And then at the same time, when I when I when I said, okay, God, I'll do it. At the same time, my health came under attack. You see, but not, nobody know about these things. And, and and so I've been dealing. I've been de- I've been I've been dealing with my health, and I've been dealing. But I've been dealing with this the prayer issue. And every time we be on our intercessory prayers, Amen. This is when you always get distracted, distracted. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You always get distracted when it's time for you to pray. Yeah. Every time it's time for you to pray, something always. Uh, Interfere. You either get a very important phone call that you have to take, or someone visits you that you never expected to show up. Or watching me on the internet. (laughs) (laughs) Talking about prayer. (laughs) Oh, hallelujah! Glory to God. Amen. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in awe because I see God is dealing with our hearts. God to deal with the heart of the of the body of Christ, and He's called us. He called us to pray. Amen. He's called us to pray. Glory to God. In this passage, in this passage, Paul reminds Timothy on several important facts concerning prayer. Number one, pray for pray. Prayer is the first priority for all. Prayer is priority. Paul said. First of all, remember he said, first of all. So Paul deems prayer as priority. Amen. Number two, prayer should include all types of appeal, of, 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 of appeals. You know, in other words, you're appealing to God for this purpose, you're appealing to God for that purpose, you're appealing to God for the for the nation, you're appealing to God for the there's an authority, you're appealing to God for all those that that's uh, under the authority. Amen. We're praying, we're we're seeking the face of God. Amen. And then with supplication prayer, intercession prayer, and then giving of thanks in prayer. Giving of thanks in prayer. Amen. Number three, prayer is to be ex- extended to all men, including our leaders. Prayer is to be extended to all men, including our leaders. That's the main thing that God is focused on right now. I'm telling you, folks, God is looking at our nation. And the only way our nation is gonna is gonna rise above the, the status quo of life is that our leaders are covered in prayer. That even includes our church world. Amen. That's why at 3 p.m. we pray for our church leaders. The five-fold ministry gift. Every Thursday and Friday, 3 p.m., we pray for those that are in authority over the church. Y'all, y'all see me? Amen. Y'all, how they say it on the screen? Do you feel me? <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, so, so we see we 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 we're in a good place right now. So number four says prayer is good and acceptable in the sight of in, in God's sight. Prayer is good and acceptable in God's sight. So when we are praying, we do we go, we pray right in line with God's will. We're right in line with God's will. Number five says, "It is through our prayer that people will come to know, to the knowledge of to the knowledge of the truth and be saved." See, praying for those leaders that's in authority, whether they're saved or not saved, is irrelevant because if you pray for them, God can put a hook in their jaw and cause them to turn their, to, to turn to hear the word, and when they hear the word. The word has the ability to get them saved. You can't save them. The God can know. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he has the ability to save whosoever he will. Amen? And all he's asking us to do is to pray for them. 
He's not asking us to, to save him. He's asking us to pray for him. Amen. He's asking us to pray for him. Number six, through our prayer, we will lead quiet and peaceful life. Filled with godliness and honesty. Amen. Amen. If we don't pray, you won't lead a quiet and peaceful life. Because you're going to find that everything that you stand for as a child of God, they're going to come up, they're going to be opposition against it. You're going to rub on oppositions. Amen. Okay. Amen. Glory to God. And so, so intercessory prayer, the Bible has, the Bible has many cases of people standing up for others before God. You know, praying for others. Mm -hmm. And this is what God wants us to do. He wants us to stand up for others. Stand up for those that don't have time to pray. Stand up for those that, that don't know how to pray. Because a lot of people don't know how to pray. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know how to pray. How many of y'all still struggle on praying? Do you know how to pray? You, you, have, you, you have a struggle on praying still? Because when you start praying, you start getting sleepy, don't you? No, um, it just uh, um, doesn't come out from my mouth. I, I try. Okay. Um, and who else have trouble praying? You have trouble praying too? Yeah, sometimes I have trouble concentrating and focusing on exactly what I want to pray about. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know why all this is happening? Because the enemy doesn't want you to pray. He wants to keep you distracted so that you will not be able to touch heaven. And if you can't touch heaven, you're playing right in his territory. And God wants you to be free. He wants you to, he wants you to, to he wants you to, to, to see where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Mm -hmm. And he knows that if you get to praying, you're going to get into the spirit realm where God is. And once you get in the spirit realm where God is, that enemy that is trying to stop you from praying, his, his, his battle over your prayer life is going to be over. It's going to be over. And, and sometimes you need a guideline to help you to pray. You need something to need a guideline to help you pray. So uh, go online and order that book, uh, Prayer of Velvet Much. What's it called? Prayer of Velvet Much. Um, is that from uh, Dr. Morris? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's not from Morris Rowland. It's, it's just a prayer book. It's a prayer book. It, it's, it's full of scripture prayer. For all, for whatever you need to pray about, it's in that book. <clears throat> Say it again, Larry. Prayer that availed much. Amen. And that's why that's how me and my wife learned how to pray. By using these, these prayer guides. Amen. And, yeah. Yeah. You gave him one? Uh, book, how to pray. Yeah, there you go. There you go. How to pray. How something to pray. like that. Look yeah. online. There's plenty of material that you can find on how to learn how to pray. Amen. There's a store right up there next to the, where is that? the community church. Community church. They okay. have a store out front. And they sell Bibles. They sell everything. They sell everything. They sell everything. Up there. Yeah. yeah. Up there on Watt. Down Watt. Watt and I Street, the community church up there, that's a bookstore right there. Yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, store. so that's a good place to go and get some resources, get some, yeah. get some ammunition, so that you can learn how to pray properly. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, folks, that devil ain't playing no games. No, yeah. He wants to take you and your family to hell with him, oh, yeah, he and he's doing everything he can to do it. So when we when we start praying properly, so those those are that prayer of Philip Mush book. It's all based on scripture. It's based on scripture. Amen. Then there's a there's a mo that's a I, I have to bring some I have to bring some information. I, I'll text you, I'll tell you what, I'll text y'all some information on books that you should that you could get to learn how to pray. Amen. Because there's 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 plenty there's plenty of material out there. There's plenty of material out there. And God wants and God wants to God wants to pray properly because he wants to start to get results. Amen. He he see he cure he he, he called he call, he call us to pray for a specific purpose. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, this year, God is going to visit his people. Amen. And if we're not praying, we're not 
establish that relationship with him through prayer, you, I hope he visits you in the, with, with the, and, and find you in right in, in right relationship, relationship, the right standard, mm -hmm. amen. Yeah. Because he's visiting, and he's gonna evaluate you where you are by what's in your heart. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why it's so important that we start praying properly. Amen? It's, it's very important. I mean, it's so important that God is it's just like it's just like shaking. He said, it's time to get up and pray. Get away. Put that TV off. And pray. You see this music that we listen to right now while, while we're preaching? I put this music on when I'm praying. It soothes, it, it, calm, it calms me down. And it helped me to begin to focus. Sometimes you need something to, to, to help you to get right in the groove. This music is on, is on YouTube, so anybody can have this, can play this music. And this, this brother that, that put this music up there, he's not doing it for money. And I love this man's music. It's worship music. It's peaceful music. And it's anointed. Amen. The anointing lift the burdens and destroy the yokes. The anointing will help you to usher, help you to be ushered right into the presence of God. And when you begin to call upon his name, you can call upon his name. Knowing that he will hear you. The Bible says when you know that he hear you, you know that you have a petition that you desire of him. It's so important that we learn to pray properly. Amen. Very important. And that's why we that's why we I need to I need to just start getting y'all together. We just start having some prayer nights. Yeah. What do y'all think about that? I think that's a good idea. I think that's a very good idea. Just like, just like on, on Friday night when we when we come off of that off of that uh, off, when we finish that Daniel prayer, mm -hmm. meet up for for one hour and just pray. Everybody, just pray. Not sit there and, and look at everybody. Yep. Try to <laughs> try to see what they say. <laughs> But everybody pray. We used to have early when we started the church. We used to have uh, we used to have uh, uh, prayer nights where we come up in once a month and pray all the way up to midnight. Start at uh, like six o'clock and go to midnight because people had to go home and go to prepare to go to work. So we only let it went to midnight. Amen. But I think we ought to start that back once a month. Now if I started, if I, now if I started this, y'all better show up. <laughs> I ain't even showing up by myself. <laughs> Where are we gonna huh? We pray right here. Yeah. Okay. Show up right here. That way we got plenty of room. And when you when you get tired of walking around praying, you have chairs to sit down and pray. And if you got a, a floor, we have vacuum floor. We can make sure that no dust floor. You can lay down, prostrate on the floor and pray. Interceding for our nation. Interceding for our state. Interceding for those that are in authority over our nation and over our state. Interceding for the police officers. Because they are people that can hurt you if they're under the wrong influence. <laughs> Come on, I'm talking about. So we have to pray for those that's in authority. Even our police officers. 
our mayors, amen, our, 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 our judges. We got to pray for these people. Got to pray for them. Amen. So now, I've said all that just to say this. In first in, uh, in Second Chronicles chapter seven. Second Chronicles chapter seven, mm -hmm. verse number fourteen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse number fourteen. He said, if my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then would I hear from heaven. Oh, glory to God. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Then would I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. God is talking to us. He said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then would I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Notice that God is speaking to the to his people. He's not speaking to Buddhists. Buddhists. He's not speaking to Mohammed. He's not speaking to Harry Krishnas. God is saying, if my People which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. He's given us an assignment. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. Not just humble yourself, but humble yourself and pray. Then he said, and turn from your wicked way. Hallelujah. Well, humble yourself and pray and turn from your wicked way. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive your sin. And I will heal the land. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many of you know that God means what he says? And he says what he means. And he says what he means. Mean. Amen. Intercession is not something that we take lightly. It's going to God on behalf of someone else. Lifting up someone else before God, and they're not even aware that you're praying for them. I'm gonna stop right now. I'm gonna stop preaching, and let's just pray for a minute or so. Y'all wanna just pray? Amen. Let's just pray for a minute or so. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because, you see, Thursday and Friday, you're going to be doing it. I, now, I wish that all y'all was on my on my, on my, my uh, network so that when I go online on Thursday, on, on a Wednesday night, to encourage you people to pray for, for Thursday and Friday, that you'd be able to, 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 to get, get strengthened and encouraged. Amen. Father, we just thank you so much for what you do. We thank you for the word that has gone forth tonight, God. And Father, I thank you, Lord God, that we are preparing ourselves to come into your presence the proper way. 
we are humbling ourselves and we are seeking your face. And we, we examine our hearts, so oh Father, that we will not come in your presence where we will where we, we, want, we want to come in your presence the right way, Lord. We want to come in your presence the right way. We want, to, we want to see, Father, your glory. We want to see your strength. We want to know that you are with us. Father, we thank you so much for all that you've done and all that you're doing because, Lord, there's no one that we can call on in this time but you. You are the God of all creation. You created man in your own image and after your likeness. You gave us the, a voice. You gave us a heart. You gave us the, you, you showed us what love is all about. God, you showed us how to respect one another. You told us how to reach out and to, and to help one another. God, you show us how to love one another. You're showing us how to pray for our nation, how to pray for our leaders. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our leaders of our land right now. We pray for our nation right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will, that you will move supernaturally across our land, Father. Annihilating every work of darkness, Father. Bringing every demonic force into, cap, into, into, into captivity. Stopping every work of evil, Lord God with the power of your word, God. I thank you, Lord God, that no weapon formed against us will prosper, Lord God. And Father, you have given us the ability, Father, to declare, Father, and to speak to the principalities and the powers and the rulers of the dark of this world and spiritual weakness in high places. And God, you said that nothing shall by enemies hurt us. So we don't have to come in fear of Father, to pray, we can come in faith knowing, God, that you are with us, that your word and your spirit, they comfort us, that you have prepared a table before us in the presence of our enemy. So, Father, we don't allow fear here. We, 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 we continue to, to press in. We continue to move forward. We continue to seek your face, oh God, as you said in your word, and we turn from our wicked ways. You said, then what I hear from heaven. You forgive our sin, you will heal our land. Father, we thank you, Father, that you want to heal our land even now in Jesus' name. So, Father, we pray for our leaders. We pray for our nation. We pray for those that's in authority, Lord God. And, Father, we declare, Father, that we shall lead a quiet and peaceful life, Father. We ask you, Father, that you will begin to deal with their hearts, that you begin to, to, to cause them, Father, to be drawn by the power of your spirit, touching them, Father, bringing them into a place, Father, in you that they've never experienced before, Father. God, we thank you for helping us to see ourselves the way you see us. We are overcomers, Lord God. We overcome saved by blood, led by the word of our testimony. Why? Because we are praying for our nation. We're praying for our leaders. We'll lift them up before you. Father, we pray for our, for our local officers and our judges and, our, and, and those that are in authority, our congressmen, our senators. Father, we pray for those that are progression officers, Lord God. We pray for those, Lord God, that are Supreme Court leaders. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift them up before you, Father. And we ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will, that you will breathe upon them, that you will breathe upon their hearts, God. Father, we bind every spirit of witchcraft that is over our capital. We bind every spirit of witchcraft that is working against the leaders that you have placed over this city, over this County over this state in the name of Jesus. We, Father, we lift them up before you in the name of Jesus. And we say, Father, have your way. Have your way. We bind up every demonic spirit. We bind up that spirit of Beelzebub. We bind up that spirit of Bell in the name of Jesus that is hovering over California. We bind up that spirit of Bell that is hovering over the state of California. We loose it from its assignment in the name of Jesus. Father, we bind up that spirit of perversion over California in the name of Jesus. We bind it up right now, that spirit of lust over California in the name of Jesus. We bind up that spirit of pornography over California in the name of Jesus. We bind that spirit of adultery over California in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
We bind it and we break his power right now in Jesus' name. Father, we commission the angels right now to go to be on standby right now, Father. That as we pray for this nation, as we pray for this state, as we pray, Father, Father, for this state, this great state, California, Lord God. And I know, Father, that you want to take the reins of this state back into your hands. In the name of Jesus. The 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 the, the, the movie production. God, you want to move in all the movie productions. The filmmakers, Lord God. You want to move among them, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. And God, we just say in the name of Jesus, have your way. We lift these, we lift these pr production places up before you, Father. In the name of Jesus. We lift up those that are established these places up before you, Lord God. And God, we ask you in the name of Jesus that you will move in a supernatural way, Father, among them. Father, bring forth laborers in their path. Bring labors in their path. Father, the harvest is truly great, but you said that the labors are few. Bring labors in their pathway, Lord God, that are able to, to minister to them. People, Lord God, that is able to get their attention. And Father, we thank you for it. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we pray for all these networks that we are on right now, Father. <clears throat> we pray for these networks that we are on. We pray, Father, for Facebook leaders. We pray, Father, for, for YouTube leaders. We pray, Father, for lively leaders. We pray, Father, for Periscope leaders. We pray, Father, for Twitter leaders. We pray, Father, for all these networks that we own right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray for those workers, Father, that are keeping these programs up and running, Lord God. Father, we pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will touch their lives, that you will minister to them, that you will encourage them, Father, to be everything you created them to be. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for all those that are helping us to get your word out, to get your word out in the name of Jesus. God, we lift them up, Father. We lift them up. And we thank you. We praise you for it, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we pray for Israel right now. We pray, Father, for Israel. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, for the salvation of Israel. In the name of Jesus. We pray, Father, for the Jews. We ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, for the salvation of the Jews. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you to breathe upon the Jewish nation right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, look upon the leaders that you have set over the Jewish nation right now, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, look over the leaders, Father. And, Father, touch their hearts. Give them supernatural insight, Lord God, on how to, how to uh, protect that nation, Father. Give them supernatural insight, oh God, on how to uh, avoid uh, 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 disasters and, and, uh, and, and wars with, the, with the, the, the countries around them. Father, you have established this nation as your own. Now, Father, I ask you to, to give them the ability to, to withstand all the forces of darkness that is working against it in Jesus' name. Father, we pray and we give you all the glory for it. In advance, in Jesus' name, Father, we pray for the fivefold ministry gifts. We pray for the leaders of our of our church, Lord God, the fivefold ministry gifts. Father, I thank you, Father, that you are moving supernaturally, Lord God, and you're bringing the church leaders into one mind and one accord. Those that you have set in office, Father, there are those who have set themselves in office, Father, and there are those that the enemy have set in office, Father. But God, I'm talking about those that you have set in office. As a fivefold ministry gift, the pastor, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. Amen. Amen. Father, I'm talking about those that you have set in office. Bring us, Father, to a place where we will acknowledge who you are and help us to hear and be led by the Spirit of the living God. Let us come together in unity, in one core, in one mind, declaring and speaking that which is on your heart, which is on your mind. Bringing the people, Father, to a place of acknowledgement and repentance for the sin. And not just going along with sin, but bringing the people to acknowledging the sin and repenting of the sin that's in their lives. In the name of Jesus. Father, sin is not to be laughed at. Sin is not something to, to joke about. Sin is a penalty. of The penalty of sin is death. The penalty of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And God, you said as by one man have sinned, so death by sin. And God, you said so death passes upon all men, for all have sinned. 
Oh God, you gave us a you gave us a, 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 a you gave us a, a remedy for that sin. You sent us your own begotten Son into the world, that whosoever believe in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So, Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we ask you, Father, that you would be merciful unto those, Lord God, who are caught up in trespasses and sin. God, we ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, to help us to to be a voice, help us to reach them, Father, help us to 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 lay hold, help us to to bring the message out, so so Father that they will hear the word. And help them, Father, to acknowledge the word that they hear in the name of Jesus. And let them receive the word. And let them turn away from their wickedness. Let them turn away from their sin in the name of Jesus. Open their heart, God. Open their eyes, God. Let them see and let them hear. And I thank you for it, Father. God, I bless you. And I glorify you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Father, I pray for my church family. I pray for my men and women, Father, of my church. And all those that support this ministry. Whether they support it from online. Father, whether they send a check in to the post office, Father. Or however they support us, Father. Father, I pray for them. I pray, Father, for their families. I pray, Father, for deliverance. I pray, Father, for healing. I pray, Father, that the peace of God rest upon them. And everything that the enemy has been for evil concerning them because they support this ministry, God, I'm asking you to turn it around for your glory. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you and I praise you and I glorify you for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for those that are tithing in this church, Father. I lift them up before you, Father, because, God, you got a special blessing for the tithers. you got a special blessing for the tithers. God, you want to show them how good you really are. You're going to show up and show yourself strong on their behalf because they are given out of their abundance. Not because they have to, Father, but because they want to, because they love you. And God, you said that you would rebuke the devourer for their sake. You said it, Father. And so, Father, I pray for those that are tithing in this ministry. And, Father, I pray for those that, 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 that give into this ministry, whether, whether it's just a, a, a seed or whatever, Father. But I pray for them, Father, that, God, that you would cause their eyes to be open to understand, Father, the power of tithing. <clears throat> and Father I ask you to breathe upon them breathe upon the whole congregation bring us to that next level help us to see ourselves as you see us for we walk by faith and not by sight in the name of Jesus God we thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Praise you. Thank you, Father. Praise you, praise you, praise you, praise you. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Father. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead on and let's take about our evening offering. And we're going to pray for those that have a special prayer request. And then we're going to go home. 
Hallelujah. God want to bless you. God wants to bless all of you. You know that? God wants to bless you. Yes. I know he does. He's still here. <laughs> oh, I know he blesses you every day. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm older than you guys except for him. Whose birthday? Your birthday is six days? He's my cake and that's finished. Oh, okay. Oh, I say all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Did anybody give the one to you? That's good. I got no, I didn't give everything, everything I wanted to give. You didn't give everything you wanted to give? No. Well, you still got the opportunity. If I did that, then I don't have no money. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, money's coming to you. I don't know. I'm just waiting. Your money's gonna be released very soon. Did you hear? You heard? You heard again? You heard again from that, right? Yeah, from my sister. Yeah, we talked about her. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know you have, because the Lord showed me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And you, talk, you come to me to understand. Oh yeah. Yeah. We just don't talk about money. That's, that's all coming, right. When it comes to money, you know, she's a crook and I'm. <laughs> that's okay. God's going to intervene on that part. Amen. They all used to call me the little dude. The little dude. Yeah, because I always had the money. <laughs> Amen. You are a Jew. You. you drafted in the family. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this task. We thank you for this offering, Father. We thank you, Father, for your people who are given into this offering, Father. Now, Father, I pray a special prayer over the people that are sowing tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I'm asking you, Father, to do something supernatural, financially, on their part, to let them know, Father, that this is rich, fertile ground. I ask you, Father, to multiply back into their life in a supernatural way that they will recognize that this is because of this seed that they sowed tonight. Even those that are sowed by the internet, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, those that are sending in through the mail, Father, whosoever sowed that seed tonight into this ministry, Father, I'm asking you to visit them in their finances in a very positive way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Father, I thank you for it. And I give you the glory for it. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost on that. In Jesus' name. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. It's coming. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I gave a good size offering the other day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give another offering tonight. Not right now. I'm, I got to write, write a check. I don't have a checkbook with me. But I'll put it in there before 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 the night is over. I promise you that, because I want my name in that box too. Amen. Because when I spoke that prayer, the power of God came down upon me, and I know it's coming to pass. I know it's coming. That's why I got to get something in there. <laughs> I got to get something in there. Amen. God, I'll share my checkbook with you now. That's okay. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Amen. Everybody give the one to give? Glory to God. You there by the internet? You need to sow that seed tonight. You need to sow that seed tonight and expect your breakthrough. Amen. It doesn't matter what country you're from. The bank can change that. It can, it can transform that money to English, to American money, to American dollars. So sow that seed tonight. Sow that seed tonight and expect your breakthrough. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those that are on the internet right now that they would sow that seed tonight and expect their miracle. I thank you for it now because it's coming. Glory to God. Anyone have special prayer? No, if you're here tonight, let's, before we go any further, it's time to open the door for the church. If anyone here tonight, you never made Jesus Christ love you like, but I know all y'all here have asked Jesus Christ come in your heart. But there may be some that listen to us by the internet. You've never made Jesus Christ love your life. And, and now you want to uh, make things right with God. You want, you, you, you want to repent of your sin. You want to ask Jesus Christ to come to your heart and be the Lord of your life. 
or maybe you listen to me right now, you backslid, you want to rededicate your life to the Lord, I'm talking to you right now also. Say this prayer with me. Say it from your heart. Say it because you mean it. Don't say it because I'm asking you to. Say it because you mean it. Because when you mean it, your heart is going to, it's, it, you, it's going to be a different attitude of your heart when you, of your words that's coming out of your heart. It's going to, it's going to come with a fragrance that's going to touch God. Amen. It's going to come up with a fragrance that God's going to smell that fragrance coming up from your heart. And he's going to look down upon you to find that fragrance. And he's going to love on you. Amen. He's going to acknowledge you. Say this prayer with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin. Forgive me, Lord. Come into my heart. Create in me a right spirit. And renew in me a clean heart. Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. And you died for my sin. Today, I confess. And I ask you to be the Lord of my life. I receive you now. Amen. If you said that prayer, I believe that you are a born again child of God as of now. And I believe that God is dealing with your heart already because of that prayer that you have prayed. And that you are in right standing with God. And that if you would die right now today, that you will spend eternity with him. Amen. You will, you, you have you have you just you just uh, got your fire insurance paid up. Glory to God. You on your way to heaven. If should you die today, you on your way to heaven. Glory to God. Father, I pray for those that said that prayer. And Lord, I ask you in the name of Jesus to just touch their hearts. And I know that you have already. Let your peace be upon them. I thank you now for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Those of you that have special prayer requests, I pray for you now. You hear you have special prayer requests, I will pray for you now. Glory to God. Come back here just in case. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak. Shonde kilanga toro sokoto robo kangelese kete la bakai shongala se e makondo lo so. In the name of Jesus, shere bakada la bakia zangalese. Mojo, mojo, kazanta. In the name of Jesus, I speak to this apple. I speak to the stomach. I speak to the colon. I speak to intestines, kidneys, liver, pancreas. Lungs. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In Jesus' name. Shaka. 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 Blah, 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 yeah. Shaka, baka. Shh. Shh. I decree and I declare from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, every organ in your body, is being administered to now by the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Receive your healing right now by faith. Receive it now by faith. In Jesus' name. Receive it now. Receive it now. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shak Moshe Tabaka. Oh, you feel the power of God right now starting to rest upon you. There it is right now starting to rest upon you. 
Amen. There's a warmth right now moving down in your in, into your stomach area. The spirit of God right now is starting to move down in your stomach area. In the name of Jesus. 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 Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. In the name of Jesus. Now, Father, I command this spirit of infirmity to leave him now. I command you to leave him now in Jesus' name. Your shot al Bakaya. Sheke pal al Basaya. I command you to go now in Jesus' name. You have no power over him no more. You've been released from your assignment concerning his health. And from this day forth, his health will improve. In a name that is above every name. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that healeth thee, is visiting thee right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Shaka. Shaka makaseke. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Anybody else? Let him let he's all right. Let the Lord minister to him. Anybody else want me to pray for? Koshe. 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 Jesus' name. Shaka, shaka, shaka. Ah, ya shaka. Thank you, Father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There go the power now. There go the power. There go the power. Open up your heart and receive it. Receive it. There it is. Jesus' name. that are with us by the internet then. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stretch our hand toward these that are with us by the internet. We release our faith with them, Father, that they too are walking in divine health and healing because healing is the children's bread. We thank you and we say it is so in Jesus' name. And God, we give you all the praise and glory for what you're doing in the life of your people. In the name that is above every name. God bless you all. Thank you all for joining us. Join us again on this uh, coming this coming week we'll be here. We're gonna be coming on live again from the from the another from my office. But uh, but Sunday, I want you to join me for a wonderful, powerful service. God love you, and God bless you all. God bless you. See you there. Bye.